Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can simulate a mouse in Scratch. So rather than like in the street art project, making it so that my mouse controls where this spray paint goes and then clicking, whoops, and then clicking and making it so I can spray paint. I wanna actually make it so that I can use the micro bit to control where this sprite goes. So if a project doesn't have something that's gonna be replace the mouse, you'll need to create some kind of a sprite or pick one. And instead of making a go to the mouse pointer, I'll use this code in a little bit. I want to actually make it so that it's going to tilt. So when I tilt the micro bit, so when I move it uh, to the front or the back um, side or left or right, I want to make it so that the spray paint moves in that direction. So I'm going to use a conditional block, an if block, and say if my micro bit is tilted to the front, I want to move it to the front by making it so that the Y goes up, goes front, going up. And then if I tilt it to the back, I want to actually make it so that it also moves to the front because it's going to be negative. Okay, so when it's front, front, this is a positive number, so it's going to go up because of the Y. If it's back, front, it'll actually be negative because it's the opposite of back. But if this is a back back, we'd get basically the exact same thing as this. So let me show you what that looks like. So now I, if I tilt it to the front, it goes up. If I tilt it to the back, it goes down. So I can move this up and down and it controls it. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, the same thing for uh, left and right. So we're gonna say, if we turn to the, or tilt to the right, tilt to the left, whoops, I clicked on the wrong one, left. We want it to tilt the angle to the right and right. But instead of changing by Y, which is up and down, we want to change by X, which is left and right. So we're going to change X by that. Okay, so now we need to change the X by a negative amount. So when it tilts left, in order to make a negative, we just tell it to use the right numbers. Okay, so opposites give you negative, and the same will give you positive numbers. So change Y positive, change Y, negative, because they're opposite, change X, negative, and these are positive, because they're the same. Okay, so let's test this out and see how this works. Okay, so now my spray paint and sprite, I can move it any direction I want on the screen by simply tilting my micro bit. All right, so that's working. I can make it so I can move my spray paint around just like I can my mouse. However, instead of making it so that my mouse is clicking down in its spray paints, I wanna actually make it so that when I press a button on the micro bit, it actually spray paints. So we can make it a specific button like A or B or any button. I'm just gonna go ahead and do any. I could maybe make it so that like B is spray paint and A is erase. That's one option, but whatever. Um, okay, so now let's test this out and see how this works when I use the button with the code right here. All right, so I got my spray paint sprite and I'm able to move it and spray paint. It's really hard to control, we'll fix that in a minute but it at least works like a mouse where I can move it around and spray paint on the screen. All right, so it works, but it's super sensitive. So we're going to fix that by actually dividing all of these numbers by something like 20. So instead of changing Y by the full amount, which is like all the way up to 100, we're gonna make it so that um, if it's 100 and you divide it by 20, that makes it so that it only changes it by five. So it's gonna make it move a lot slower than before, which will make it a lot easier to control. So I put these like these. So now they're all the same thing as before, but all of them are divided by 20, divided by 20, divided by 20, divided by 20. Okay, so let's see what this looks like whenever we use this new code. Okay, so I can move the Spray paint, and when I press a button, start spray painting, and when I let go, stop spray painting. So now I can actually spray paint using the micro bit, and it's a lot easier to control because of the divide by 20. Cool, so now I have a fully functioning mouse, so I can make it so that I can move this around, and it's just easy to control with the micro bit, and I can click by pressing one of the buttons to make it spray paint. Isn't that pretty neat? Okay, so I have another project to open and I have added in a sprite and it is a mouse sprite. All right, so it's right here. It's hiding. My micro bit is tilted uh, 
back, so it's moving down right now. Okay, so instead of making it so that these blocks, um, I have to touch the mouse pointer and check to see if the mouse is down, what I want to actually do is check to see if it's touching the mouse sprite and if a button is pressed, so like the B button, which is basically our clicking with a mouse. And down here, instead of mouse down, we're going to make it so that it is um, checking to see the B button again. So repeat doing this until we're no longer pressing it. And then what I want to do, one more thing, is just have it go to the, um, well, let's make it fancy. We can have it go to the X position of the mouse sprite. So to do that, we're going to go to mouse sprite here, and we can say X position. So instead of this, and then we can do the Y position right here, so that way it always snaps to the grid. And if we want to, we can add it in the previous code that makes it so that we can turn left and right. Okay, so let's test this out and see how this works. Okay, so we've got our mouse. We can control it moving the micro bit. And if I go over to the dome and then I click, I'm holding onto it. I can move it up. It's snapping to a greed, grid, <laughs> greed. And then I can keep dragging and dropping these on here. But I can't drop them onto the menu bar because it doesn't have code for that. All right, so that's how you can turn your microbit into a mouse inside of Scratch. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.